Previously on MKR. Here's to friends and food. Four teams put their best foot forward. I think it's a bloody ripper. If anyone's got any food left over, I'll have it. <laughs> and despite Janelle and Monzier's perfect dish, my score is 10. I'm giving you the 10. I can't believe it. Kate and Mary still reign supreme. We'll be hanging on, like, <laughs> nails in. With Stephen and Freena now facing elimination at the bottom of the leaderboard. It's not been fun down here. No. We don't want to go. Tonight, Fijian fashionistas Arna and Fuzz... <laughs> Very passionate about their Fijian food. ...serve up an island oasis. I've never, ever eaten Fijian food. I've been excited about that. Coconut with entree, with main, with dessert. Interesting. That's just hot people love coconut. Will they shine on the runway? I can't wait to try something different. Mm. Beautiful. Really yes. enjoyed it. Delicious. Or will a cloud of suspicion? Just not for me. People say it's glorious, and if Stephen and Freena don't like it, something's going on. Ruin the Fijians' shot at the top spot. Dish, I didn't really like. I thought it was quite bland. And the hundred thousand dollar grand prize. I'm pretty confident that they're not going to do amazing. The competition is heating up, and today we're in Sydney's harbourside suburb of Vaucluse where our fabulous Fijians, Anna and Fuzz, take on the fifth instant restaurant. Oh, my God. Morning. Hurry up. Huh? Why is it so hard for you to find something to wear? Because I'm going through my morning ritual. What ritual is this? It's my ritual to open my chakras or whatever. <laughs> <laughs> no. Why not? Wrinkly. This is why you take so long to turn up. It's chic. It is what it is, darling. You knew what you signed up for. We were very excited to get out there so we could get the shopping done so we could come back and cook. I was excited to pick out my outfits for the day oh, because goodness. I was like, I need to know what's my vibe. I think this is the one. I think so, too. General. I think I look sickening. Maybe when we cook, though, you might want to take the feathers off for a bit. Just Why so not? You, just so you don't set yourself on fire. How would I set myself on fire? You never know. You never know. That's really stupid. I'll be like a phoenix rising from the ashes. Hi, I'm Arnett. Hi, I'm Fuzz. And, and we, we are, are your fabulous Fijians. Buzz and I became friends because we're both very creative. We love fashion. I think a lot of people don't know much about Fijian food. And so uh, we would love to introduce them to this. That looks beautiful. Yes. Look at that. Fuzz and I sometimes bicker, but I think Sometimes? It's, I think it's, it's like a daily thing. Fuzz, are you doing any work or just? I'll get to it done. The most exciting thing is presenting them with some new food in new ways. To family and to good times. Cheers, darling. Cheers, cheers, cheers. I don't think people have ever experienced a team like us. Are we ready? Kinda. All right. Let's do it. Woo! Oh, I forgot how to drive. <laughs> The boys better get a move on, as they have just five hours to shop, set up their instant restaurant, and prep their menu for tonight's guests. I don't know much about Fijian food. I sadly haven't been to Fiji, so I'm very much hoping that their menu will transport me there. We're representing our ancestors and, and the people who've made this food real and our families. Do you and... feel like there's a bit of pressure? This is beyond, the, this is beyond pressure. It's like, if we stop this up... But you know what, though? We're letting down the entire Oceania reef. to remind you <laughs> that pressure makes diamonds. Oh, yes, it does. Oh, look at you! You're a little bit wise today, a little bit wise. <laughs> We've never had a Fijian team on MKR before, so I'm very excited. It's got a little bit of an Indian influence, so there's lots of curries and fish raw fish, cooked fish, uh, because obviously they live on islands. I'm looking forward to it. Let's do it. <laughs> OK. Such a pretty day. Oh, Wait, hold on, let's get a photo. Oh, my god. OK. Hold on. Everybody look. Everybody stare. Everywhere I go. Not one just me, not one just me. Oh. Yeah, I get the looks. Yeah, I get the swag. Everywhere I 
<laughs> Hurry up, let's go. Oh, let's go. All right, for you see, the first stop is the fish market so we can pick up the fish for the entree. For the entree, we're making coconda with root crop crisps. Coconda is our national yeah. dish. Sometimes people refer to it as Fijian ceviche. For me, the coconda, the important part is the fish. It needs to be uh, a little fattier flavor because otherwise when you overcook the fish and it becomes really tough. Do you have deep sea perch today? No, no. Are you sure you don't have any in the back or something? Or, no, not at all. Every time I go to the fish market, there's deep sea perch. Every time. I walk in and there's no deep sea perch. None. It's Zero. So not the, even a full fish. High fat content of a deep sea perch helps to carry the flavors of the lemon juice and coconut cream that cures the flesh of the deep sea perch. I'm looking around at all the different various types of fish that are there. There's monkfish, dory, snap, and trevelli, but I don't know what to get. I can't decide. It's so hard because none of the fish that is there is as appropriate as this deep sea fish. This is important to get the fish right. We just need to decide on it. We're going to decide on the dory. May I please get um, two and a half kilos? Show me what that looks like, and we might get another half kilo. Let's see what it looks like. I've never used this fish before, but we're going to give it a go. I've decided on the dory. I mean, it's not as fatty it's as the deep exactly sea perch. It's, no, it's not exactly what I want. But I'm hoping that it'll be just as good at absorbing the flavors. I need about seven lobster tails. Seven lobster tails. About seven lobster tails. For Maine, we are making Fijian lobster curry with coconut rice and island salsa. I think that the pairing of lobster curry and coconut rice sounds idyllic, but it's vital that lobster isn't overcooked because you need to have that soft, succulent texture. And I would have thought cooking enough lobster for all of us is going to be a bit of a challenge. OK, so the lobsters are for the lobster curry, obviously, yeah. for Maine. Um, and I really feel like it's a hero dish, so... It needs to be incredible. This is also the bulk of our budget. <laughs> <laughs> How much is it all together? All up, 763 Goodness gracious. <laughs> <laughs>good to be back. Oh my God, we only have two and a half hours until the guest teams arrive. We're running so behind. The clock is going, we know it's started. We need to get up these stairs. Love this for us. Two and a half hours. How do you feel? We've got this. Yep, of course we do. We haven't even started on the instant restaurant space. This is basically being run on prayer and goodwill. <laughs> so, we want to transport people to the islands. Okay. My Kana. My Kana. Come and eat. Everyone that does go to Fiji is enchanted by the magic that Fiji has. At the end of the day, that's what we wanted people to feel when they walked into the restaurant. Imagine being back in Fiji now, sitting on a beach. It'd be cocktail hour now, wouldn't it? It's cocktail hour all day, darling. <laughs> it's never not cocktail hour. Perfect. It was like, this is going to be the best party, and I'm not going to be there. <laughs>
So I'm just juicing the lemons ready for the entree, for the coconda. Um, and it requires quite a lot of lemon juice because it cures in the lemon juice. I'm really excited to try the entree, the coconda with root crop crisps, because I've heard about this dish. And to the best of my knowledge, it's raw fish that is sort of cooked in, you know, citrus, but made creamy with coconut milk. And I do love uh, a sort of coconutty ceviche. I'm longing to give it a go. Doesn't this remind you of home, though? Oh, my God. I remember having to scrape coconuts all the bit. When I moved here to Australia and I realised that we could buy it in the can, I changed my life. <laughs> The apparatus that I'm using to scrape the coconuts is a traditional scraper from Fiji. AKA coconut scraper. There's something about grating coconut in the old way that releases flavor. It doesn't dry it out, and you make the best coconut milk when you do it this way. My wrists are in pain, my lower back is sore, I'm getting a little creak in my neck. I'm suddenly reminded that I'm not as young as I used to be. <laughs> Arnold, time. We've got an hour and eight minutes left. How much? An hour and eight minutes. Oh my god, I feel like we're in the village screaming at each other across the road. <laughs> Hi, how are you? <laughs> it is a lot of effort to get these coconuts scraped. It's almost like a magic carpet ride, the little coconut thing. It's not comfortable. It's not a magic <laughs> carpet ride at all. It's more well, like a magic broomstick. <laughs> well, that's why you probably doing it on me, because my big fat ass, I couldn't scrape on it. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, it's what? done, darling. Coconut is scraped, and I start on curing the fish. I would like to get this in and curing before the guests arrive. The only issue I'm having is that we didn't get the fish that we wanted, but we're going to make it work. The first thing that I notice about it, it's not a fish that's equal in size across its entire fillet. It's thicker in some parts and thinner in some parts. Oh my god, this is terrible. There's like bones right through this. I notice that it has tiny, tiny bones. And these are not bones that are going to be able to be broken down in lemon juice. This is not the appropriate kind of fish. We're going to have to make it work and just keep cutting it out. I think what's most concerning to me is that because the fish is sort of thin to thick to thin, even though the pieces might be cut to the same length, they're not cut to the same width, so they're not actually equal in size. And they need to be. The fish needs to cure equally so that there is consistency and texture across the dish. I have just now added the lemon juice to the fish after salting it um, to, for it to cook. So the acidity of the lemon juice is going to break down the outer layer of this fish. Ten minutes, our guests are about to arrive. We better go and get ready. Right, my hair looks go. like a rat's nest. Time is going. We need to be dressed. We oh need to get God. ready. I That's need to look fabulous. That's the last thing I wanted to do is get dressed up. I want to get dressed. I want to look fabulous. This is all I want in my life. I know you do. Art and Fuzz have a lot of emotional connection to Fiji. They talk about it all the time. They're very passionate about their Fijian food. They've got a lot of family history. I think the food's going to be great. We like the way you smile. I'm expecting a real fabulous kind of instant restaurant. They're definitely going to represent what they're passionate about, and that's their culture. I'm expecting it to be glamorous and glittery and golden and just, just as fabulous and stylish as they are. They're here! Do we have this? Yes, we have this. High five. Let's do it. Hey! They look calm. Yeah, they're all right. They look so calm. So calm. So right. collected. They got everything together, which is just usual for the boys, to be honest. Oh, my God. This is amazing. Oh, oh, yeah. All I could see were feathers floating around Fuzz's wrists. I thought we were in for a big night. Fijian-themed extravaganza. Like getting it was off the plane to Fiji. Literally, like getting off the plane, <laughs> you know, five-star Fijian restaurant. Looks really good. Oh, are we in Fiji? Oh, 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 oh,
Yeah, it was very colourful. The boys are very, very stylish, and I think that if they were trying to make a space look really unique, they did a great job. Bulvinaka, namaste, no ear, assalamu alaikum, and welcome to Maikana. That is all the languages that we speak in Fiji, and it's our welcome to you. Now, Maikana means come eat, and basically, when you're walking past someone's house, they'll call it out to you whether they have a piece of bread or whether they have a feast on the table. And that is our invitation to you today. So we have come to love you all as family and we're asking you to, my kana, come and eat with us. Aww. Now, if you do get a little warm, we've got a little fan on the table. It was handmade in Fiji by some beautiful Fijian ladies and it's got our restaurant name on it. Wow. We looked up to where the judges sit. They had their names on them, which I was a little bit jealous mm. I All love right. it. I feel like everybody was really excited. How do we think? <laughs> we don't have much time at all, so let's get some of these major components done. First thing I need to do is I need to squeeze this coconut cream for the coconda. This is the one you gave me, right? Yes. Okie dokie. We talk about cooking fish in lemon juice. The coconut cream adds to that cooking factor it as does. well. You got the juicy, juicy? You got the juicy, juicy. Coconut cream can be quite dent out of a can yes. and it can be very like coconutty. Coconut when you extract it yourself it's a lot more floral so it's not a coconut it's coconut <laughs> you're a coconut <laughs> look at this this looks really good yeah, yeah it's major Perfect. so the fish is curing i know that this isn't the fish that we usually use but i'm hoping the floral flavors are going to come together and every bite we want nigella and manu's eyes to light up Be ready for Nigella. What is she gonna be wearing? I know. What is that? That's a knock. Are you sure? Yeah, that's a knock. Oh, no, I need a drink. Judges. Okay. Judges. I'm gonna put my boy born. Okay. It's time. Oh, you look like champagne. Yeah, mm -hmm. As always. For you. Gorgeous. Gorgeous. Oh, you look good. Nigella is a vision. Manu's good too. Yay! This is amazing. Nigella is always serving looks. She's always serving looks. Nigella and Manu, welcome to my kana. Thank, thank you. Thank you. I don't know how to say thank you. Vinaka. Vinaka. We ask you to lift up your fans, and underneath your fans, you'll find your napkins, and then you'll find your menus. Sorry to be going over in your menu. <laughs> oh. Oh. Yes. Did you hear the delight in everybody's voice? Mm -hmm. For entree, it's coconda. Now, coconda is a similar to a ceviche, but in Fiji, we cook the fish in lemon juice and Fuzz has grated the coconut today and freshly squeezed it to marinate into the fish. For our main today, we have a Fijian lobster curry oh. with coconut rice and island salsa. Oh. And for dessert, now it's called vaco soso. It's a coconut caramel. It's got the beautiful ripe bananas and then there's a coconut ice cream. So we hope you enjoy it. Oh, it sounds absolutely cool. delicious. Thank you. Well, I think it's time for you to go back into the kitchen and... Yes, I think so, as well. Shall we go? <laughs> Let's go. We'll Thank you very much. Good luck. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Your Thank you. I think the menu as a whole is... I'm confused. What's Lord. the theme of the instant restaurant? Island vibes. Fiji. 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 That's it. So what are you thinking, Mary? I think the boys um, have got a lot of style. Um, I, I look at this menu and go, this is everything that I want to eat. I am expecting that the dishes will be very beautiful to look at. They have an eye for detail, an eye for fashion, and I suppose I'm expecting that to translate onto the plate. You stayed at the top of the leaderboard up until now. But if they do this well, we're in a lot of trouble. Mm. Steve, have you had Fijian food before? I've never had it, so I've been very excited about uh, tonight. Just looking at, like, 
all the elements um, like Fijian, like lobster curry, <laughs> like for me, I'm like I love lobster. Being on the bottom of the leaderboard is also a constant reminder that like, oh, you're not doing too well. I feel um, tonight this menu isn't the easiest menu to do. I, I feel that there's a bit of a uh, bit of hope for us because there's so much they have to get right with this menu. Your thoughts on the entree, Ashley? I'm very looking forward to it. I find cured fish to be delicious. The texture of it is is really uh, enjoyable. Sounds like it's going to be delightful. Like a ceviche, yeah. Fijian mm. ceviche. Mm. I'm not a big fan of raw fish, but I want to see. <laughs> for some reason, I knew, I knew you were going to say that. Yeah, yeah. I'll scale the raw fish. Chuck it back in the ocean? <laughs> no, back to the kitchen. <laughs> <laughs> can I get grilled? If they can have that beautifully marinated fish and with those crisps, beautifully crisp, I think it'll be an excellent entree. OK. Oh, this is perfect. So I'm just frying up the sweet potato crisps that will be served with the entree, the kokonda. Adding the root crop crisps gives it an element of not just crispiness, but a little saltiness as well. So you get this little bite of salt that comes with it. I'm gonna have one of these, all right? I have one. You can try one? Yeah. Okay. Mm. 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 It's good, isn't it? We need to get these placed out to the table while the crisps are crispy, otherwise they'll lose their beautiful, crunchy texture. Lovely, crispy, beautiful golden color. Giving this a bit of height on it, darling. Good. I'm side on the dory, but not exactly what I wanted them to taste. I handle fish a lot. When you squeeze it, when you feel it, like it was supposed to feel like a pillow, and it felt more like a mattress. But I don't think that it's an absolute disaster. Let's do it. Well, uh, Entree is served. It's coconda with our root crop crisps. Mm. <laughs> Thank you. You beaut. I'm very excited about this. Thank you, my darling. That looks beautiful. That wonderful scent of citrus hits. I'm pretty excited to get into this. a little nervous. Now I'm just handing this right in profusely. The judges, you look at them, there's not even a hint no of idea. how they feel. Am I just a tinge nervous? Handing this right in profusely. You may return to the kitchen. Thank you. We just have to trust it. Look, doll, we did the best that we could do. Yep. Is what we understand. They either like it or they don't like it. It is. And it is what it is. Yep. Huh? In the meantime, I'm gonna stay here and eat my feelings. All right. Bon appétit. We love the kakonda. We did. And we love the crisps. Crunch that you heard. A symphony of crispy, crunchy crisps. You like it? It's OK. Mm. Maybe it's because they're all different sizes. Mm. Some bits taste different to I feel like some of the pieces of fish weren't symmetrical on the plate. There's some really small bits which are actually cooked quite nicely, and then those bigger, chunkier bits, they were a bit chewy. Oh, that's raw. Yeah. And Mons, you were a bit hesitant about the idea of the fish. How did you...? Uh, I like the fish. It was actually cooked right for me. That's the way I like it, maybe. The chips, I needed more of that. That was good. 
Bah, I think... Yeah. <laughs> yeah. No one. Oh, yeah. No. <laughs> <laughs> You're stealing Nigel's chip. <laughs> my oh. That's yes. my last chip. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. My God. Was that good? The meaty of the fish, the coconut milk, the acidity, the little shallots, and then... Hello. <laughs> <laughs> That is absolutely stunning. I'm so proud of them. It's wonderful. Frina. Yes. Your thoughts on the cucumber? I did enjoy the um, <laughs> the potato chips. Um, I do like the balance of the fish, um, the sour and the creamy, but it's just not for me. It wasn't an amazing entree. No. Felt the dish looked a bit boring itself. Flavour-wise, it was there, but the texture of the fish mm -hmm. just... Mm -mm. not. I can't do it. <clears throat> Fuzz and Arnott, I love the balance that you got between citrus and coconut. It was emphatically more on the citrus side. I think, in a way, it's lovely to be reminded of the delicacy and the floral quality often of fresh coconut. And I loved the gentleness of it and the way it partnered with the sweet of your root crop crisp. They made absolute sense with the entree. Obviously, a very, very traditional dish in Fiji. It's essentially a national dish. The issue I've got, I think, is the choice of fish. And the reason why I'm saying this is because the fish, the way it's been cut, it's been cut somehow bigger pieces and some smaller, and the smaller pieces seems to melt in the mouth, and the bigger pieces seems to have a, a little bit of a chew on it. What type of fish do you usually use? Ordinarily in Fiji, we would use a walu, um, although we have found deep sea perch to be good. That's what we were looking for today, which we didn't find. So we used a dory today. So, Walu or deep sea perch, usually the flesh is probably a little bit softer than, than a dory? Yes. Mm. Gorgeous dish, Bronx seafood. We knew what to sort of expect. We knew that the fish wasn't where we wanted it to be, but it wasn't anything major. It wasn't they, they hated it. They loved the dish. It was just the wrong fish. We made a decision and we went with it. What I do appreciate is that they understood that the flavour and the intention was there. You know what? That's all we can... That's all we can do. Yeah. What did we say? It, it is, is what, what it is. is. Let's do it. OK, you know, we need to move on now. Yes. We need to get this main out. For main, we're making Fijian lobster curry with coconut rice and island salsa. OK, so you do the rice, I'll do the sauce. So once I've done yes. the sauce, let's come back to just assisting each other to get all this flesh yeah. out. Okie dokie. So vakalolo rice is literally cooked down in the coconut cream and water until it reduces. I learned to cook it for my mum on a kerosene stove and then you end up with this really beautiful, like fluffy light rice and... Oh, yeah. I'm gonna put the paste in. So this paste, of course, is chili, garlic and ginger. It's gonna be a, it's gonna be a big hit of spice, that's for sure. This lobster curry, the first time Fuzz made it for me, oh my god. I was like, Fuzz can actually cook. <laughs> <laughs> Does that smell good? It smells so good. Mm, mm, mm. If you're going to be putting lobster in a curry, you need to be able to taste the lobster as well. You've paid a huge amount of money for a really premium product, and then if it's just kind of overwhelmed by curry, 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 that'll be a bit of a shame. Thank you, Anna, darling, for crushing all that ginger and garlic and chilli for me. I did it with my handy little mixer. I would have been more impressed if you did it with a stone, but I suppose it is what it is. <laughs> There's a beautiful smell I when know. you first put it on, but then once you put the lobster shell in, it completely changes. Suddenly, you are in the sea. It's one of those things where the curry absorbs the flavour yeah. of the lobster. I want to dive into the main course. But before uh, we do, literally? well, <laughs> I was thinking that, but a little discussion of what we're expecting. Nonzia, your thoughts on the lobster curry? I'm on thoughts. Lobster. I never had lobster in a curry. I had lobster like in fine dining when I went to a restaurant just by itself. But in a curry sauce, like... never taken me for a lobster. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, this nah. is ex-girlfriend. Oh. Oh. Yeah, there's another thing. <laughs> Stephen, Fijian lobster curry, how are you on lobster? 
Yeah, something something light with the curry so I can taste that beautiful lobster. Um, and I'm hoping the, the rice isn't overcooked and nice fresh salsa just to tame it out and balance it really well. And do you cook lobster yourself? Oh, no, too expensive for me. <laughs> no, no, no. She's <laughs> what? <laughs> I think Anna and Fuzz choosing lobster is very Anna and Fuzz. Yeah, definitely. That's it's very fancy. Peter, what are your thoughts on this? I'd like some big flavours and some spicy flavours. Mm. Oh, no. Oh, no. Yeah. Can you... Oh, no. Oh, no. <laughs> Sorry. Settle down, Pete. <laughs> what have they done with him? I've never cooked with lobster. No, Personally, we're too I've... poor to cook with I've lobster. Never, I've never <laughs> cooked with lobster. No, I've ne we've eaten it plenty of times. It should be just cooked, it should be melt in the mouth, it shouldn't be chalky or chewy. Just some kick, I think, would be lovely. Curries are an interesting thing. They're a constant balancing act, so you're always, like, adding and subtracting things to sort of create the flavour that you desire, ultimately, from it. Sorry to interrupt. Oh, hello. Oh, my God, that's a lot of lobster you've got there. <laughs> and the shells are in the, in the curry? Um, we had the shells in the we curry, the shells, and we've just them taken them out. Oh, right. Because we didn't want, um, we don't want oh, people to that's a, that's a much thicker, darker sauce than I was expecting. Very. So it's like the base of it is very tomatoey, and so it's got, um, it's, it's a lot of tomato, a lot of garlic. Obviously, Nigella being the domestic goddess herself, it got me excited. I saw a little bit of delight in her face. Can we'll I have, have a look? Yes, of course you can. Is there Wait, enough? Yes. I believe so. Yes. I believe so. Of course, I'm questioning myself a little bit. This, this incredible human being cannot go hungry. But it is going to be a little bit thick with the rice. And with the, um, the salsa, it'll cut through it. Interesting. When Nigella, the domestic goddess, and my icon, walks into the kitchen, <laughs> of course, I'm questioning myself a little bit. This incredible human being cannot go hungry. All that remains is for me to eat it, which is always <laughs> a very happy state of affairs. And yeah, we're very excited for you to eat it, for everyone to eat it. As long as there's enough for all of us. There will be, I promise. I go, 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 Dad. I'm greedy, of course. <gasps> Slight panic. It's a concern, and I realise we need to serve 12 portions, and I think Nigella might be right, and we need to thicken this sauce. Mm -hmm. Give it a bit more umph. We definitely need a little bit more gravy. So basically just fill it up. Bring more of that sauce into it. And I know that that's what's going to make this dish everything. I am going to add the meat into it, yeah? Yeah. The curry absorbs the flavor of the lobster. I think it's actually looking fine. I was panicking before, but I feel okay now. I mean, you wouldn't be able to tell I was panicking, obviously, because I clearly internalized my emotions and just, you know, drink my feelings, but it is what it is. Once it all came together, it was going to very likely be too much because that's how we cook. It's never too much. <laughs> Gorgeous, darling. This is exactly what we want. Something oh, about you. you a lot of money I think... What is... Actually, no, what is yeah. the weirdest thing you've ever eaten? Cause... I think fried grasshoppers. Yeah. Grasshoppers. Oh, yeah. Grasshoppers. Yeah. Grasshoppers. Really? Yeah, grasshoppers, yeah. Crunchy. They're crunchy ones, yeah. They're like... They're fried in a pan and... Ooh, I'm into it. While we're on travelling around New Zealand, we stopped off at the Hokitika Wild Food Festival. There was some interesting what food. Oh, there's there was crickets, grubs, colostrum. Colostrum? Mm-hmm. With juice. Don't breast milk. Uh, uh. I've seen a breast milk um, ice cream. I think having colostrum is probably a little unnecessary. But if you've got I excess amount of breast milk, milk who has got know. breast milk lying Body around? Bodybuilders, they love it. Oh, I would mostly give anything a crack. Protein. Nutrition. Yeah. Yeah. Mm, good very full of high protein. We'll never be trying colostrum. No, it's not in my top ten. No. Mm. Wowzers. Okay, so how are you doing? Good. I'm just doing the cucumber. Excellent. So, I don't have a look at this. Yeah, let's yeah turn it off. Turn it off. Yeah. Do you know what? The main's biggest risk, honestly, is that the... Overcooking that lobster? Yeah. We did not have time for this to be overcooked. <laughs> we want this gorgeous lushness of this lobster. OK. It needs to be perfect yeah. for the judges. Yeah. We take a big piece here. You know what I'm excited about this yet? Why? Because we get to try it. <laughs> <laughs> Yum. 
Yum, 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 yum. Meat and sauce is perfect. Every bite, yum. every bite is going to be filled with this beautiful, luscious lobster meat. I reckon it's time to play. No one's going hungry this no. evening. Bring it a little bit closer, darling, thank you. Right in the middle. Perfect. We are people who work in fashion. The lobster curry isn't runway ready, but we know it's packed with flavor. It smells good. It might be ugly, but it's bloody delicious. Ugly delicious mm -hmm. is the way of the future. That's our motto. Wanna pass me that little one? I absolutely do. Thank you. Miss Lawson. What's up, guys? Oh, hello! <laughs> Again. So lobster curry is served as it would be at home. Thank you. Thanks, Mara. Buzz and Arnett were very generous. I think there's about $200 worth of lobster on, <laughs> on each person's plate. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you, doll. That's awesome. Oh, this is more of a rustic presentation than I was sort of expecting. But then I was like, oh, well, you know, maybe this is how they have it in Fiji. It feels very special serving this lobster curry because it's the thing that I make for my mum. And I learned this recipe from her. It's very, very important that we do it. Fiji proud. Thank you. Thank you so much. Again, thank you all. Thank you. Bon appétit. The flavor is beautiful, but it hasn't destroyed the flavor. Mm. The lobster. The lobster. Mm. I take my hat off. They they cooked the lobster beautiful. I can, I'll still say it. they made the country proud. They did. The lobster was done well. Mm. That lobster for me was cooked perfectly. Mm. It was sort of soft. I could taste the lobster. Pretty well balanced. Delicious. You've just had Mount Etna explode in your mouth with this extraordinary curry, but then you got buttery lobster. God, it was good. What do you like? Go for it. Well, I, can't, I don't want to get waste the lobster. It's a bit watery. I found that course quite boring. Matt. Yes. Do you love your curries? I do. Do you love this one? I enjoyed it. Oh, I've got a bit of a sweat up. Yeah, I can see that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. starting to get a bit of a bead under my eye, come, which I tend to do. Come here. Come Thank on. you. Yeah. Little bromance. It's probably a one-way street there. <laughs> yeah, I thought it was a nice dish. The lobster was cooked really well. Yeah. Perfectly. It was. Looks like everyone enjoyed it. I felt like the paste or the powder wasn't balanced. I feel like there's a bit more cardamom, and that was overpowering for me. Um, other than that, I um, couldn't taste the coconut rice, which sucks. I do agree with my better half. I feel like it was a bit watery for me, um, the dish. The rice, I didn't really like. I thought it was quite bland, not really much flavor. I thought that was a little harsh. I don't even know how you could think it was bland. Mm could be better. I just think that when you've got 90% of people sitting around the table saying it's glorious and you've got that 10% that are saying they don't like it, point blank, something's going on. Other than first I look at this room, it's absolutely amazing, and then you serve me this dish, and it's just 
probably the most ugliest dish I've <laughs> that has been served so far. <laughs> but then I go, I, I, I went for a, a first bite and I went, who cares the way it looks when it tastes so beautiful? And, and, and lobster is probably one of my least favorite seafood because it's so expensive and so often ruined because it's just overcooked and becomes chewy and rubbery and you lose the, the sweetness of it, you know? And this it was just soft and just melting in the mouth. So thank you very much. Thank you. It was really beautifully cooked. It's so sweet and soft. I did find the rice less focused, but of course, it was wonderful to feel that I was eating your home food, just presented as it would be. We're just very, very privileged and proud to be able to share our culture. Um, where are we from again? Oh, where are we from? <laughs> <laughs> I always forget. <laughs> thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank bye -bye. you very much. <laughs> thank you very much. Thank you. Thank you. I will take that as a win. I thought it was fantastic. Listen, they enjoyed it. They loved it. And That's all we want in life. Always room for improvement. Look, we can only learn and get better. Yep. Yes? I am touched that I'm able to make my mom's recipe proud. It's heartwarming. I'm looking forward to giving them dessert now. Do you think we're ready? Yeah. Are we ready for dessert? Oh, yeah. <laughs> so, Kate and Mary, like, if you were bummed off the leaderboard, yeah. how would you feel? I think that's fair enough. If somebody cooks something, and it was perfect, you deserve to be at the top. So Stephen and Freena are sitting at the bottom of the leaderboard. I feel like naturally, to protect your spot, you're gonna naturally be a little bit more critical, you're gonna think about things in a different way. But at the end of the day, it is just judging the plate of food in front of you. Does it make yeah. you yeah. feel emotional when we talk about the leaderboard? Well, between the two of us, he's more optimistic, I'm more emotional. <laughs> so the pressure is definitely still there, the disappointment is still there, it's very upsetting. I think every instant restaurant is a salty experience, to be honest, um, because we are not doing too well. It's not over yet, no. so uh, we haven't given up. We're, we, we still want to get through. I particularly was very emotional when Stephen and Freena didn't do very well. Yes, it's lovely that we get another chance to cook, but I never wanted it to be because somebody else did poorly. That's not how I roll. I'm just thinking to myself, they should be bottom. Yeah. At least our dessert was cooked, OK? To be beaten by a that roar? dessert, I yeah. just, I don't get it. Like, it's meant to be lemon delicious. It's more lemon horrendous. I'm just um, going to put the bananas on. For dessert, we're making Bundibaka salsa with coconut ice cream. Caramelized bananas with the coconut caramel sauce. It's going to be delicious. We're cooking the bananas, caramelizing it in the pan with some butter and sugar. We get it nice and brown, you know, like it's beautiful and caramelized on the outside. And once that's done, I then use the same pan to create the uh, caramel sauce. I remember my mom used to love vacasoso. And like the fact that I learned how to do it and make and cook it for her was, yeah, probably one of, one of my favorite memories of her. I've got so many fond memories of making this, you know, coconut caramel sauce for her, you know, and drizzling it over like a, a beautiful steamed pudding or, um, um, you know, like any kind of cake. You could just drink it. I would or, fill up a bathtub and bathe in it. As Buzz says, I would bathe in, bathe in it. it. I would 100 percent bathe in it. And I want it in all my crevices. Oh, that looks really good, Da. Do you reckon these are soft enough? Yeah. Or do you want me to start cutting them up? Into the glass now. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. Because that's smelling burning, eh? Mm. That's gone too far. Oh, there's smoke everywhere. Without this coconut caramel sauce, this dessert is not complete. Basically, what's happened is there was too much char in the pan, so we have to start the ngalu all over again. So we're going to be doing some clarified butter and sugar to get this going. If I'd carried on making the coconut caramel sauce, it could have worked, I don't know. It could have had a beautiful edge of smokiness. It would have been rubbish. <laughs> Just say it. It would have been a biscuit. It would have been like a burnt hard thing. <laughs> God. All right, darling, we have time to do one more go, but we don't have time to do it twice. So let's get this right, yeah? I definitely didn't want this caramel to be a disaster. And so for me, 
It was all about starting the fresh and creating a beautiful, clean coconut caramel sauce. Okay, this is gonna be lovely now. You making the galu? Yeah. While I was making it, I made sure to add a little bit more salt so that it balanced out a bit of that sweetness from all that sugar, the brown sugar. Can you give me one of those uh, bananas? Sure. Yeah, this one, it's falling apart. When you're making caramel sauce with the banana, I think it imparts a bit of flavor into it. And then when that's ready, I take a splash of rum, throw it into the pan, just to deglaze it a little. The rum is the best part of the dessert, isn't it, Anna, darling? <laughs> uh, first, I'm just putting the coconut cream in now. OK. And then I'll slowly simmer it. Is the ganlu OK? It's very, very caramelly. This is the thing with our desserts in Fiji. They're practical, so they come from things that we use in different ways. It was always about, like, using leftovers or, you know, we'd, like, cook. Um, can you stop eating the bananas? I'm eating the ends. I'll have the ends in the dessert. Let's talk about desserts. Chanel, vous dites vacances au sort. I'm actually very excited. I'm thinking, could it be like a bananas foster situation, like with the bananas cooked in the caramel? If so, that sounds delicious. And coconut ice cream sounds beautiful. And I'm very interested to see what their coconut ice cream will be like. They said the Fijian coconut ice cream is very different. It's not what we might think of. Yeah. So do you think that might be a bit icier? I think ice. Yes, yeah, it might yeah, be more like ice. a, a, like a um, you know, one that's shaved that's iced. Yeah. 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 Perhaps, perhaps. Alice, are you looking forward to this? I am looking forward to it. I always look forward to things that I know not of yeah. to widen my culinary exposure. I'm not crash hot on banana. I don't mind a banana smoothie and I don't mind a, a bit of banana bread, but banana on its own, I just find them so offensive. It must be a textural thing. I, I think that's the... Oh, they're just nasty. But you know me, I'll, I'll leave it. <laughs> I'll give it a go, will you? Okay, so how many of these am I putting in the bottom? Just however you, like, share it out evenly. Let's do this, come on! Usually that particular sauce takes a long time Blades. to make yeah. and to get that flavour because it is a bit smoky. For Anna to be able to achieve that in one pan, in a couple of minutes, is actually very clever. Are you bringing it? Caramel okay, sauce. Have a look. There is a little bit more going into presentation. I think that we want to balance things here. out. Pour the... Okay, let me just um, make sure that I've got this here. How much of this do you want in there? Just um, to cover it. Just to cover it? Yeah. As somebody who is a major fan of Ngalu, of this particular type of caramel sauce, I look at the colour, it looks like storage, but it tastes like heaven. It's a little bit of that sort of situation. Let's do it. Let's scoop, scoop, scoop. Come on, come on, come on. Perfect. Last dish, darling, last dish. Creating a dessert that Arnett made for his mother, who he was very close to. It's a piece of you. You're putting it out there. You're giving people literally a part of you and being like, do you like it? And we hope that they feel that when they eat. Grab it. These ones? Ice creams, okay, yes. now what are we doing for them? Which ones? You pick? Um, okay, we do this one and yes. let's do that one. Okay, perfect. Okay, fantastic. Awesome. Let's go! Hello. <laughs> Hi. Hi. The level of excitement you have every time we come into this room is admirable. It's wonderful. It's gorgeous. <laughs> Dessert is served. Thank you. It's a simple dish, but it is Fiji on a plate. Again, not a very pretty dish, which was very interesting from the boys. Yeah. Like, none of their dishes were very pretty. I thought that would be something that they would do. I think people, when they look at food, they'll straight away judge on how it looks mm. and straight away they think of how it's going to taste. The dessert was not appetising at all. I'm pretty confident that they're not going to do amazing. The presentation of the dessert is much like 
the other courses. It's not super pretty. Oh, stop it. But the smell that's coming out of the glass of that sauce is like smacking me in the face. Well, that smells very carefully. Oh, no, Fuzz, do I put the ice cream in here or...? Yes, please. Yes? It's got chunks of coconut through it, so once you pop it on, it'll mix in. Thank you, guys. Thank you. We finished serving up the three meals, and you know what? I reckon that we have brought our culture to the table. Now it's up to them. Will they like this cuisine? It's new to them. I'm hoping good. So we have presented new flavors from beginning to end. Where we sit on that board, doll. You know what? I don't know. Yeah. I don't know. Bon appétit. I love the coconut ice cream. It was more of a savoury ice cream than it was a sweet ice cream, which was nice and refreshing, and it went well with the caramel sauce. Salty dessert. Yeah, I like this double down on the salt. Yeah. It was, cool. I enjoyed it. And I actually enjoyed the coconut in the ice cream yeah. as well, just yeah. as a texture. Yeah. It was something different, really. Yeah. If you want to like choke on like sand or something, because that's <laughs> how it feels, how salty it was. It was too salty for me. I'm sorry. I can't eat this. Alice, your thoughts? I thought it was absolutely beautiful. I don't really like bananas, but I think because they were slightly unripe, they had a lovely texture to them. They weren't soft and mushy, um, but then they had that char on the outside. I would definitely eat it again. It's definitely given me a beautiful insight into what Fijian food is. It was banging. Bang <laughs> Mary, you ate yours quite fast. Yeah, I know. Was, I, not that I was. I don't think you, you were watching. I, I was watching. <laughs> <laughs> you did actually. You I did. It. I actually really enjoyed it. I thought the caramel was really sweet. I thought the coconut ice cream was certainly not sweet. So I think that all went together. Yeah, I enjoyed it. Freena, yeah. what was your view of dessert? We were expecting a lighter dessert to finish the night. Here we go. I reckon the banana has a great char on it, but I feel like it has to be a little bit more riper, because then when you bite into it, it has to be slightly softer than that. Two dishes that everyone thoroughly enjoys, yeah. and you don't, seems strange. Yeah. I feel like also the aftertaste is a bit too salty for me, and I think the balance was out. I actually was surprised that Freena didn't like the dessert. There was a few technical issues, but I just feel like the flavours were lovely, so I think maybe her critique for the dessert was a little bit harsh. Yeah, I uh, didn't really enjoy it. The law of averages is suggesting that Stephen and Freena are playing a game, and it's not adding up. Arnott and Fuzz, for dessert, you made us Vundi Vaka Salsa with coconut ice cream. Now, I had a sort of idea of the component parts before eating this, but it still came as a bit of a surprise. And I thought the ice cream with those thin slices, the sort of grated coconut, really worked well in it. 
And I have to say, that sauce, to me, is just what I want for dessert. The saltiness just made it really thrilling. Thank you. The balance between sweet and salty, I think, is very clever. It's that fight on your tongue that makes it really, really interesting. But I think it's a little bit like your main course. I feel like your plating is a little kind of non-existent, I suppose. Like, uh -huh. usually when you put something in a glass, it's to make it nicer. It didn't make it nicer. <laughs> so all in all, job well done. Thank you very Thank much. You. You're, you're satisfied with what you created tonight? Do you know what? We, yeah, we are. And I hope because Fuzz isn't at the table, someone will bathe in that caramel sauce. Please <laughs> bathe in everything. <laughs> yes, I'm very happy to bathe in it. <laughs> Not my half, don't worry. <laughs> thank you so much. Thank you, Again, Jess. thank you all. Thank you. I feel like we've, we've done the people we come from proud. We've done our country proud. We've done our culture and our heritage proud. Hallelujah. I agree. Arnett and Fuzz face an anxious wait in the kitchen as the guest teams judge their instant restaurant and give it a score out of 10. So for the entree, we had the coconda mm. with the uh, sweet potato chips. Mm. I liked the flavour. I just think that the fish could have been less cured. For me, the entree was my least favourite course. But I don't think it was a failure by any means. Main course, lobster curry. Yeah. Flavours in that curry were beautiful. It was moorish, it was light, the lobster mm. was cooked perfectly. The yeah. curry itself was very nice, yeah. seasoned well. So for dessert, we had the Vundi Vaka Soso with coconut ice cream. Ooh, Ooh am I from it. Fiji? <laughs> <laughs> I actually loved the flavour of the caramel. The dessert was bloody beautiful. The sauce was salty, it was sweet, and the ice cream was savoury, and it just worked. I don't know how anyone was having it was sweet. So there was no sweetness. There's it was no just sweet. salty. Yeah, it was too okay. salty. I took three bites max, and I was just like, this isn't for me. I reckon yeah. we got served two different plates compared to everyone I else. I feel like <laughs> it. Okay, so I think overall it's a 7 out of 10. Mm. Every course was above average, but there wasn't any, like, hugely outstanding dishes. I'm, I'm feeling a seven. Yeah? I'm feeling a seven as well. So do you think, uh, like, a nine? Yeah. I think they have performed the best. Yeah. They've, they've delivered the best meals consistently. Yeah. yeah, yeah, they have. What are you thinking? I think a nine. Uh, for me, every for, for mm. me every dish was a nine. Yeah, it wasn't. So the average is yeah. a nine. This is probably the first restaurant where I've enjoyed all three courses equally. Overall, not impressive with entree, not oh. impressive dessert, but pretty good main. So I'm thinking five. Five, five out of ten. Uh, com I'm confirming it's five out of ten. Yep. We are hoping this is our chance to get off the bottom. It's not been fun down here. No. We've done what we intended to do. We've created great food. We've stayed true to ourselves. Mm -hmm. Might not be restaurant or runway ready, but now it's up to them. Arnold and Fuzz, thank you for your gorgeous hospitality and for sharing your beautiful Fijian heritage with us. It's been magical. And now it's time for the scores. The guest teams have given you a combined score of 37 out of 50. Thank you. Thank you, everybody, so much. Oh, girl, you know what? When I heard 37, I, know. I was... Felt you next to me, I sort was of... touched. Yeah. Like, this is confirmation for me that they felt what we were giving them. We were giving them an experience of us. And now it's our turn, and as you know, we'll be scoring each dish out of 10. The entree you gave us, coconda with root crop crisps. This was, for me, a rather enchanting introduction to Fijian entree, and I loved the delicacy of flavours. I was surprised by the sweet potato crisps, but they were wonderful. 
Unfortunately, the choice of fish you used for your coconda didn't allow me to taste it as it really should have been tasted. I think it almost would have been worth holding out for a fish that might have been not authentic, but oilier. I've had this dish before, and it, it is a lovely dish, and it's definitely a representation of Fijian food. But yes, unfortunately, the choice of your seafood was wrong. The scum giving you for your entree is a six. And I give you a score of seven. Thank you. That's a fair score. I wish we had used a fattier fish, but I'm glad that our sauce saved it. Gentlemen, for main course, you gave us Fijian lobster curry with coconut rice and island salsa. Ugly, perhaps, but delicious. Very surprisingly delicious. The lobster was cooked to perfection, just falling apart, sweet, juicy. I loved its delicacy. It's almost perfumed intensity and the exquisite sweetness of the lobster. It was a real treat. Thank you. Thank you. And the score I've given you is eight. Thank you. The score I'm giving you for your main course is an eight. Thank you. Thank you. The first thing I thought was, I wanted to tell mom, oh my god, Nigella scored the lobster curry and ate. It was, it was very exciting. Honest and Fuzz, for dessert, you made us fundi bakasoso with coconut ice cream. It's not that often, not often enough, actually, that I eat something I haven't eaten before, and that's always a treat. I really adored that caramel sauce. Uh, to use Foz's favorite term, I could bathe in it. <laughs> <laughs> the caramel sauce is absolutely amazing. Uh, the, the ice cream is also absolutely amazing. It's, it's not the uh, traditional ice cream that we, we know of. Yeah, I, I take my hat off because it kind of presented something different for me. The scum giving you for your dessert is a seven. Thank you. And the score I'm giving you is an eight. Thank, Thank you. you. I thought that was a really great score. I thought it was fantastic. Yeah. So while not and fast, that gives you a grand total score of 81. Thank you. Thank, Thank you. you so much. With a score of 81, Arnott and Fuzz have moved into third place with only Ashley and Matt left to cook in this round. So, we will be staying at the bottom <laughs> after tonight. For tonight. Um, but we still have hope for the next restaurant. So, Ashley and Matt, now it's your turn. The yes. last to go, how are you feeling about it? Nervous, excited? Yeah. Looking forward to it. Yeah, yeah. I'm nervous, but mm. I'm also excited. Mm. Oh, matching. <laughs> <laughs> And remember that whichever team is bottom of the leaderboard at the end of the round will be eliminated. If there's a team that's going to be worse than us, it's going to be Matt and Ashley. Hopefully. Yeah. This is our last resort. <laughs> no, they will do worse than us. Uh -huh.